The bubble clad tile is one of the most popular uses of this watch face launcher. And hearing your feedback, Nai simplified the setup to a single step with the new pre-populated favorites tile. Enter the vertically scrolling app drawer to access the rest of your apps, toggles and smart light switches. And we can now add our phone's notification icons as well to the tile for a much smarter access to our messages and other notifications. The theme packs now offer a hundred different wallpapers and consistent bubble styles. And we can also use standard Android icon packs. In the next minute, I show you how to set up all of these. When we long press the screen to add a tile, we now see three bubble clad tile options. For new users, it was confusing that we had to add bubbles to the folder tile. So this new favorite style now comes with a default set of bubbles. The first time we press the three dots, we get a short introduction telling us, for example, how to change bubbles in the tile. When the three dots change into the clock, we can long press bubbles to edit them. Use the cloud selector on the top to move this phone bubble from the favorites to the archive. It's now gone from the tile. Also, when the clock is shown, we can swipe to get to the archive, where we can also long press bubbles to move them to the favorites, this time using the star in the clad selector. We can now open the flashlight from the tile directly. If you don't like the scattered layout, we can enter the app drawer again, this time for the bubble clad settings. In the favorite clad section, amongst other options, we can choose the layout. Round, or this simple grid layout, during the initial setup, I recommend adding the settings style, which provides a much quicker access to settings and setting groups directly. This icon, for example, takes us to the one-click themes section, where we can apply various preset styles. This week's free sample theme brings consistent looking blue bubbles and matching background. It's really just one click now to get a whole new look. This watch has my notification icons app installed also. Now we can move these notification icons to a tile as well. Long press any one of the notification bubbles and this time we choose the tile folder from the cloud selector on the top. The notification icons are now gone from the app drawer. They were moved into this special tile folder. We go back to the tiles and we can now add this folder tile, which now comes with the notification icons, which we moved into it. I think the tile is a good place for these status icons. One tap to read the full notification and even respond to it by a typing, voice, or with just a quick thumbs up. By the way, would you please give a quick thumbs up to this video? And you are welcome to subscribe to the channel as well, because there is more. Please see my earlier videos on how to apply standard Android icon packs, which can further personalize the look of your tiles. For free themes and icon pack announcements, Please subscribe to the Bubble Cloud subreddit or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. The app's website has tutorials, feature highlights, and release notes. And if you like what I'm doing for Wear OS, please help this project with a five star rating in the Play Store. Thank you if you already did. And as always, keep enjoying the Bubble Clouds.